This, all that's left of 80-year-old Jane Smith's Arkansas home. Friday night's tornado ripping through its foundations. What remains, she desperately tries to salvage. Possessions acting as reminders of a time before the storm that struck terror and fear into this small town community. We were in the basement. Uh, the three children next door, their parents, the dog, our dog, my three grandchildren, uh, my husband and son. So, and, but you didn't realize, you had no idea it was doing this much damage out here. It was so fast. Jane is one of tens of thousands of Arkansans affected by this disaster. But stories of survival here don't come more remarkable than Cody Coombs riding out the twister in his van and capturing it on film. It was definitely the scariest moment of my life so far. I have a one-year-old son, so I was just thinking about him and coming home to him and my fiance. Uh, that was really the only thing on my mind was making sure that I made it out of there okay. Some weren't so lucky. At least five fatalities now confirmed in this state alone, where whole neighborhoods have been literally leveled. Arkansas, officially in a state of emergency, is also in a state of shock, of trauma, of grief. While many grieve loved ones, others mourn a way of life lost for now. I have been here since first grade, and the school, I just, I love it. We have very many traditions that I'm very proud of this school for, and I'm just really sad over the fact that it's gone, but I know we will come back stronger and we can build a better school and keep those traditions going. It will take time to come to terms with the full extent of the devastation caused, but even in the face of unimaginable adversity, cleanup operations are already underway. Governor Sarah Huckabee Sanders promising her administration will dig deep to aid in recovery efforts, praising the resilience of her constituents, the latest victims of the power of Mother Nature. Benji Hire, CGTN.